good morning and welcome to another day in my life. Today we're going to be doing the Google Pixel 9 Pro, which I'm actually recording on right now. And I didn't have much of a time to look at the camera footage, but before I jump into anything, I have to point out, guys, I think it looks fantastic. I saw, I was looking at the two last clips that I recorded. The camera looks fantastic. The quality is insane. Anyway, I don't have that much time. I have to be heading out. I'm actually supposed to go play tennis in the morning. This is something that I've been doing recently. Kind of part of my new routine. Just been playing some tennis. I like it. It's been really fun. I'll take you guys with me. Let's get the day started. the volume on the on the music real quick yo the camera on this thing is fire like i don't recommend filming and driving by any means but good morning welcome back to another day in the life pixel 9 pro xl yo first things first mine is the fact that i didn't get to use the phone that much and that's why i'm doing this video because i want to put it to the test the camera on this is really good like the front facing camera is one thing it's not too bad it's been holding up pretty well and how it reproduces images is one thing but i really love the cameras on the back they've been holding up really well and like in just even in mediocre lighting like this morning it was doing really good so really good I, i'm excited to see what the pixel 9 pro has to offer So current update just got done with tennis it is currently 11 20 a.m lasted a little bit longer than i thought it was going to um battery life is actually pretty solid at the moment it's probably sitting like hey, i've only used the camera a little bit on my way home we're gonna get the day started day in the day in the life pixel 9 pro xl bro i am i really like this camera for some reason it's really good it's it's there's something about it the distance everything is it's nice man some something about this pixel is fire i like it so I just got back from tennis. I was playing with the guys. The weather was very inconsistent. I would say it was at first it started like cloudy and then the sun was coming out But then now the <laughs> Clouds are right back out and it looks like it's about to rain either way Regardless rain or not that will not stop me from making a day in the life this right here guys Google pixel 9 pro XL I am Pretty big fan of this phone. I, I, I just really like just about everything and anything before we get into the day in the life I just want to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on how I feel on the phone. The design itself is great It's a new improved design. It's a refresh to the last one It's very different and has similarities of course because it's still in the same kind of design language and pixel You know Google are still making the same kind of pixel. They're just upgrading it They're just making it a little bit better every year, but this time around the refresh and the revamp just feels great. It's nice. It's overall really good. Not to, not to mention all of that. I really, really love the camera on this thing. It's fantastic. A lot of the segments recorded in the previous part of this video were recorded actually with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. It was really good. Surprised me. A lot of the segments you saw the tennis recorded with the Pixel 9 Pro. 
really good the cameras are fantastic not only that this phone is also very snappy feels nice and fast at this current time and point right now it is 145 and we are also looking at 90 percent battery health pretty good hold it up pretty well i mean i didn't use it that much in the beginning so i had to use it at the tennis i was recording and then after that well i came back home and took a shower started getting ready and all that stuff so now I, i'm officially fully changed 146 we have basically the rest of the day as you see behind me um i have downloaded the black ops 6 beta i have been playing it it actually released yesterday but i'm only getting the chance to play it today now with all that said stick around we're trying to make the best out of today even though it's a rainy day i'm going to try and give you guys the best possible day in the life that i can make out of this a little update on the weather it's raining but it's not that much like if you look off into the distance maybe over there in that portal let me zoom to that you can see that it's raining a lot however when i'm like vlogging like this it doesn't feel that bad i mean i'm barely feeling any rain any drops which is good because that means we get to go on with the vlog just as planned so i'm currently in the car and i want to set up the android carplay so we're going to be doing that pretty quickly here on settings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on. Wait a minute. I'm just going to find it. Because I need to find it. First of all, Bluetooth. The Bluetooth device. Let's go to fucking media and car. Ah bah du coup, euh, bah non. C'est pas ça, hein, quoi. Bah non, it's... écoute, euh, moi je te dis, hein, c'est un, un truc de ouf, quoi. Searching nearby, BMW. Oh my God, that was so quick. Look at that. Connection real quick. Let me see if it catches that. Do you want following number showing your mobile device? Auto CarPlay. Continue to use Android Auto. I will so be there. All right, so as I was setting this up, it's giving me the Android Auto setup here. And here we are connected to the Android Auto. And as the rain kicks back up, it, it literally started raining a lot more now. But anyway, we are here in the Android Auto. And I do have to point out that I really love Android Auto a lot better than Apple CarPlay. It's just an overall better system, in my opinion. All of their apps and everything, so it, it is working in a different manner, but I really do like it better. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the rain, the rain is serious right now. If you can hear that, look at how it's pouring. It might be stuck in the car for a little minute. So the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, man, this is one, one heck of an experience. Has been very different has been very refreshing and most of all, very fun. I really wanna start off this segment by saying that Google has definitely made some improvements overall across the board, but not just necessarily on software and all that stuff, but just to know overall the experience that you get with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Now you notice those things from unboxing the phone itself, the box and just the overall packaging. It has this recycled material and I do think this is a step forward. It's great. It's nice to see companies when they care about the little details, when they do implement stuff like this, it's nothing crazy for them to put a recycled box, the package and the delivery and just the overall experience is the exact same. However, there is a green footprint behind it and it's helping the environment. Now with the phone out of the box, you instantly feel familiar to this new design of the Pixel 9 Pro. It is very similar to the iPhone. There's no point trying to go around it and trying to say otherwise. It's very similar to the iPhone, kind of looks like it. However, it's still very much a Google phone. It has a lot of software and a lot of improvements in terms of the software, which is very nice. It does have returning features like fingerprint, sensor on the actual screen, which is something that I've always loved. Not only does it work really well with this new Google Pixel, and it has been working well over the last few iterations of the Google and also on Samsung. It's just a, an overall an, a feature and a technology that just works really well. And I just wish that every single phone had it. I love it in the Android system. It's just so damn convenient. It's it's fast, it's quick, it's responsive. A lot of the times, you know, I don't want to like lock in and look at my face ID and just be focused and sometimes Put the finger on the screen and that unlocks super fast, super good. I love that feature. Just keep making it like that and hopefully maybe one day we'll also get it with Apple. Now this new design offers a metallic finish on the outside and a nice matte finish on the back. It's very simple, very clean. The phone also feels very sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap in any shape or form. The production quality on this one is top notch, 10 out of 10. 
definitely have nothing to say against it it feels sturdy it feels nice and the overall experience man this this is why i'm doing these kind of videos i'm taking a little segment here to talk about the phone but the overall experience with the pixel 9 pro xl is just so seamless it's amazing no matter where you're switching from so usually typically i'll use an iphone that's kind of my go-to device i've been switching back and forth recently i was with the samsung z fold 6 but in the process of switching from, for example, my iPhone to the Z Fold 6, it wasn't so seamless. I had to adjust to the Z Fold. But with the Pixel, it's a different story. It's so easy. It's the, the, the Android system on Google is very similar to the one on Samsung with minor tweaks here and there, obviously, since it's Google's. But it just works so nice, so smooth so easy you want to use their new gemini ai feature which they have emphasized a lot on and we'll get into that a little bit later in the video it works great it's fast it's responsive you know you just hold the power button or you want to initiate it in any other shape or form you can also do that but when you start the power mode and you just start working with this software it's just so good you know you can type in something it, for example you want to type and create an image it'll do that for you you can take a picture and then it'll search it up for you or you can even use the voice to voice command you know you can just talk to the phone talk to the ai itself and then it'll do the task for you it's just great and you know google focuses a lot on software and they focus a lot on just these new innovations all of this wrapped up into this nice package which is the pixel 9 pro xl i have to admit yes they have gone through nine iterations of the pixel but this is the best one so far it not only looks the best feels the best performs really good and has great features but it also is so damn nice i i like i'm not even trying to <laughs> i'm not even here trying to glaze the phone it really is nice and also i have to give them one big shout out for the cameras Okay, so I'm back in the car now. It is currently 5.13. I'm about to head out again just because I want to test out the cameras for the video for the day in the life. It's been a very like shitty rainy day. It's just not been that fun. Like the whole day I've been like, you know, going back and forth on socials and stuff and handling emails and whatnot on the phone. But now I'm just kind of realizing that like I want to finish this day in the life and you know, I have some stuff planned out. But for the most part, it's just been a very boring rainy day. I do have a few things to do. I want to fill up on gas because I'm due for that. I kind of wanted to get a car wash, but because it's raining, well, that red weather pretty much took care of that for me. Now, I know a lot of people used to like to say like, okay, like it rained, but it didn't really wash your car. Cause like, but you know, anyway, so I'm still debating, might not do that, might do that. But I, what I will do is I will put the cameras of the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL to the test. I have a spot that I that's not far from my house that I usually like to test the cameras out since it's Saturday today and it's a pretty relaxed day and it's not that up pretty outside i'm really thinking that it's going to be super quiet so we're going to be able to shoot this content in peace there all right so i made it to the location currently 5:25. I'm gonna be testing out the cameras. I don't know if you can see, there's like a bridge behind me. Hopefully the audio is okay, but there's a bridge behind me. There's some water here, there's some like, I'm really close to the edge of the water. Cause like there's cars rolling around here. It's like not ideal as a spot. However, it's also ideal as a spot at the same time. So I'm not sure how to explain that. I'm not entirely sure how to explain that. However, I'm gonna try and capture this as best as possible. This leaf is literally caressing my crotch area. Very nice. So now I'm going to be opening the camera. I'm going to have a screen recording somewhere on the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing at the same time. So here in this instance, I'm going to use the X1. Now what I like about Google's auto, like Google's just camera system in general is that it has an auto stabilization. So it shows you when the picture is straight or not. So in this case here, I'm going to take a picture like that. Maybe take a picture of the greenery over here, there. Maybe take a picture of you guys on the camera. And it does have a really good sensor overall i've been taking some videos like the beginning of this vlog that early morning section was actually shot mainly on the pixel 9 pro itself and i'm really surprised with the cameras great overall you know just image quality image density the contrast saturation everything is just really well rounded and very balanced let me try the 2x zoom now we're going to try and see get some detail over there in the distance also going to try the new five times 
lens here, which seems to be holding up pretty well. I will admit that it is a little bit weird adjusting to that little stabilizer that's kind of moving up and down as you're taking pictures. But for example, here, if I take some picture of this greenery right here and over there, now the results are actually pretty nice. Let me go back to here and check this out real quick. Yeah, the results are really good. Take some fantastic pictures. They're very, very nice. Look here, if you zoom in, you can see all the water drops on the leaves and everything. And the overall colors also looks nice. It's not too contrasty to the point where it looks like a picture, but it also has a good representation of what it looks like in real life. And with that said, I'm gonna try and switch here through the cameras real quick. So if I go to two, one, five, two, one, five, it, it, it's adjusting quick, but it's a little slow to my liking. If I go 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 1, 5, 2, it's keeping up, but it's not exactly fast. And, you know, I think maybe Google should work on that. Definitely, they've improved so much on the camera. But, you know, one thing at a time, they will probably improve that on the next one. I'm pretty sure that Google Pixel 10 Pro is going to be a nice one. But for the most part, on this one, it's going really well. I'll try and use portrait here. If I switch around, take a selfie. Let me check real quick how does that work my face is not ideal here let me do that again take a proper selfie this time but yeah the actual processing of the picture is nice it's creating this really nice blurry background and it's actually really good it doesn't look photoshopped or it doesn't look like it's done on the device but the software is pretty solid on this one i have to admit let me test out the video quality on this one as well just in a different kind of context here so times one Wow, that is crisp. I'm gonna have obviously the footage on screen so you guys can see. It's probably gonna be overlapping on top of this one, but it is so nice. So if I go to times two here, we're gonna get some good clarity on these leaves, get a good glimpse of that water. It is very nice. Also the stabilization on the camera, very solid. Times five, get some more detail in here. Wow, yo, if you guys are can pay attention to that, that looks fantastic. That is so good. I'm actually gonna switch angles here and try to record something else. So this time here, you're really facing my back, but I'm trying to record here the bridge. I'm going to try and get some good detail on the bridge. Zoom in on that wood, try to get a good angle of that, and then maybe get a little close, see how much detail we can capture there. Yo, hey, guys, I don't know if you can tell the capture on this, but wow. Yo, that is fire. Bro, the quality on that is, look at the quality on that wood on this frame right here. The stabilization is fantastic as well. Now I want to do also an outdoor brightness test. So if we take a closer look here, the peak brightness on this phone is rated at 3000 nits and it is bright. Like right now outside it is pretty dark. So it's not exactly the most optimal way for showing you guys, but it is really bright. It's nice. It's colorful. It's, it's punchy. It's got all the nice features that you would expect from a pixel phone. It's nice. It's super fast and snappy as well. Responsive works like a charm. I really like it, man. Like I said, it's great. Got good amount of contrast and even the blacks. If you take a closer look here on the screen, all the black parts are really nice and deep. Looks really good, super fast. Obviously has the adaptive refresh rate. Now as I take a second here to kind of talk to you guys about the phone itself, it is nice. In terms of battery optimization, it also does relatively well on a day-to-day -day basis. Now currently it is 5.30 p.m. Keep in mind, I have used the phone to like a certain extent this morning. I had used it in terms of recording. I recorded those sequences when it came to tennis. I was playing with the guys and all that stuff. So that hold it up pretty, pretty decently. And then over the course of the day, I didn't use it that much. I did stay a little bit inside. I was working on some stuff. It's kind of usually how the day goes. Sometimes I'll go out, sometimes I won't. So with that being said, I did spend some time working on some content and working on some stuff. The Black Ops 6 beta was also out. It launched yesterday. So I did spend a little bit of time playing today, this morning. So for the most part, I didn't use the phone as much. I did do some content uh, scrolling. I was scrolling on social media, watched a little bit of streams on Twitch and stuff. So I did use the phone to a certain extent. Now, if you take a closer look, this time in point right now, the battery is at 78%, holding up pretty good. I did use the cameras right now in terms of like taking some pictures and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's doing great. Okay, so I'm back home now and I really want to try the Google AI. Their new AI is called Gemini and it's actually a software that I've been working on 
for a while. They, they really claim that they've been working on this for a hot minute and I really want to try it and put it to the test. I, I heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard a lot of good stuff. People have been saying it's been fantastic and stuff. So I'm going to actually screen record and hopefully see if we can go at it this way. You guys can see somewhere on the screen, I'll put the AI and the Gemini. So we're going to take a look at what the capabilities of this is. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can activate it just by holding the power button. And it appears here that, okay, so it, it, it is actively listening to what you're saying. And we're going to try all of them. So let's start off by trying the actual voice one. Let's see what I can ask. Can you find me the best television on the market at the moment? The best television on the market depends on your specific needs and preferences. However, based on recent reviews and expert opinions, here are some top contenders. Overall best, Sony A95 LQD OLED. This is considered the pinnacle of TV technology, offering exceptional picture quality, bright colors, and deep blacks. It's a great choice for those who demand the best. Best OLED, LG G4 Evo OLED. I'll pause that real quick. Yo, first of all, okay, I, yo, I gotta say, first of all, the, the AI sounds crazy good. Like it sounds so, it sounds scary good. It sounds scary accurate as well. It sounds like there's someone actually there with you and there's someone like talking to you on the phone. That's crazy. And, and to be honest, like I'm looking at the TV options here and they're pretty legit. Like this is not shenanigans. I, I actually looked up like this question. I actually looked up on the internet earlier and Sony A5, A95L is one of the best TVs on the market at the moment. And that is correct. So that's really, really nice. I'm going to actually type in the keyboard. Let's see if we can ask, I can ask it something different. How about we try, can you rank me all of the call of do the D games in order send yo that was so fast yo that that was fast all right so ranking all of call of duty games is subjective and depends on individual preferences however here's the general consensus based on critical reception and fan feedback so call of duty 4 modern warfare modern warfare 2 Call of Duty Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2. How is Black Ops 2 number five? That is wild. I'm just finding out stuff as I'm reading this stuff, but yo, this AI is fun. It's actually fun. I could spend so much time just like Googling stuff and just like asking it questions like, yo, can you do this? Can you do that? Now, another thing I'm gonna use here is I'm gonna, there's a possibility you can use the camera to search stuff. Okay, so I got one of my soccer cleats. It's pretty nasty, but I'm gonna use this as reference. So I'm gonna take a picture here of the soccer cleat and let's see if it recognizes it. Uh, let's take a picture like that. Um, oh boy, that is pretty bad. Let me do that again. Okay, that's good. Attach. Can you find me this exact model? of shoe send let's see based on the image nike mercurial vapor this is a popular soccer cleat known for its lightweight design bro man this is yo this ai is good it's nice man yo i, I could see myself using this ai tool like every single day like not only do i spend time on pinterest and like, like i scroll and i find mood boards and all that stuff and I just like save a bunch of stuff like wallpapers and a bunch of other stuff. But I could find myself just using this to, to, to better help my productivity and my workflow. I could find, oh, yo, this AI tool is crazy. Like I really hope Apple intelligence is somewhere on par with that because right now this pixel is looking like phone of the year for me, man. This thing is so nice. I would, I would literally switch over to this phone. Like I'm doing a day in the life here, but that's crazy. For any of you who are actually kind of wondering what's going on, I, I saw your comments on a lot of the videos because I do be doing vlogs on like pretty much on, you know, on the regular on whenever I have the opportunity. But a lot of you guys have been actually asking me like for a basement tour. So I'm going to give you guys a small little basement tour since today we didn't get to spend much time outside. So when you come downstairs here, you have the main area. This is where I store pretty much all of my stuff, like older products in those boxes right there, down there as well. I have a bunch of like older sponsors, older stuff. So I keep that stuff in there. This is my main working station. I recently added these wooden panels to add some contrast and just make the overall space look a little nicer. The desk itself is looking a little bit, you know, it's looking a little bit dry at the moment, not that much, but 
it really is just the basics. I really try to keep the space as minimal and not like too cluttered because I don't want to make it too like I don't I just don't want to have too many distractions that this is perfect. I have my speakers, my screen, my you know, my keyboard thing, super simple. My Mac mini, I get the work done here and that's basically it. So moving onwards here, we have my shoe collection. If we move down here, this is the main living area. It's not currently finished. It's still undergo on the work. This is like, I have some temporary stuff. I was working on a video there and whatnot. So it's kind of still undergoing in the works, but it's basically coming to an end. It's almost done. We have the couch on that side. We have this accent wall here that has this really nice brick finish. And I think it looks really, really good. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see and get a feel for that texture. It's really nice. I think overall it looks great. It's fantastic. So we just need to be cleaning that up. As you can see, there's a little bit of like application that still needs to be cleaned up for the most part. That's like the laundry room. So that was finished as well. And this is a room that, you know, my mom uses for whatever her personal stuff. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of my room as well. Kind of finished now. It's it has a lot more personality. It looks a lot better. We have also an accent wall over there. You can see those wooden panels, very similar to the ones on that side. The closet, little calyx shelf. I use some of my stuff there. I have like my watches, sunglasses, a couple of hats and whatnot. Obviously, this is my bed. This is, you know, where the magic happens. Like, not really, but, you know, it is what it is. This is my side setup, new setup that I recently built. Uh, very simple, very casual. It's a smaller setup for the most part. It just has my PC, my PlayStation 5, one screen. And this is really just for leisure. This is where I game, you know, relax, take some time off. So, yeah, for the most part, that's the basement tour. It's coming along pretty nice, you know. I mean, it's basically done. So, like, my room is done. Um, living room is practically done. Only a few things left. You know, we got to mount the TV on that wall. There's a fireplace that needs to go there. And that's basically it. That side that side over there is basically done like there's just nothing more left to do and that's it that's the basement tour for all of you guys who were curious that was it you got your update so now at this current time and point it is 808 808 mafia but yeah it's 808 the current status of the phone in terms of battery life let me open it real quick we're currently looking at 65 percent battery which is really not that bad pretty good hold it up pretty well keep in mind i also wasn't the most busy active day today but i really did try kind of you know rainy just ugly day and stuff so we did have fun this morning i did play tennis and i got to bring the phone outside but other than that there wasn't really much to do because like the weather was so inconsistent it started raining and then it was sunny and then it was rainy again so it kind of just stuck in the between of the process but it is what it is now i'm going to take the time off for tonight probably just going to lay back and chill for a little bit i'm most likely going to play the black ops 6 beta i haven't really gotten the chance to hop on that so i really want to do that First